Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Scotland against England. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, in this formation, it's the fullbacks who have to get forward to provide the whip because the midfield and front players stay very narrow, but it should allow them to control the middle of the park where they are dominant. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. The England first 11. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Ben Chilwell in the fullback positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Going well. But they dealt with the threat posed. Trent Alexander-Arnold. And he has options available. Declan Rice Grealish it's neat passing confidence on the ball well they couldn't keep that sequence going unfortunately well plenty of scope for them to attack and a useful cross well sadly a bit of a tame effort that one and far too close to the goalkeeper Henderson. Shaping to shoot. Oh, a smart stop. Can someone get on the end of this? And a confident clearance. That's really good and effective physical play. Excellent defending. Oh, good vision. And it's opening up. Callum McGregor. Gold. Lewis Ferguson. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Saka. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Can they forge ahead? What a block! The first half here comes to an end. So the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. A super tackle and they've won possession. Well, the referee can't take any chances. And now he will receive attention. Oh. 
So an uncontested drop ball after the injury. Declan Rice. Joe Willock. Esri Konsa. Willock. Here's McGregor. Hickey. So half an hour remaining. Callum McGregor. McKenna. Jack Hendry. Here's McGregor. Suter. Gold. Henderson. Ryan Gold. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. He continues his run. James. Can he put them in front? But it was a wonderful chance. But the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper. But surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Up the corner, right on the back of the last one. And over it comes. And did his job defensively. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Oh, big chance. Oh, and it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Gallagher. Well, getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. He's given us away. Well, they need to get tighter. This could be the equaliser. But no, when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. Well, that could be a key moment. They have to take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more, but let's credit the goalkeeper. The referee says that will be all. And it goes into the history books as a defeat for England. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, it was a poor result. It was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances. Could have gone either way. But in the end, they will be disappointed. All eyes on one man in a rich vein of form and number one in the scoring charts. Can he do it again? Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. 
My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. How's it going to go, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, although it's down as a 4-5-1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre-forward. And those three are key to this team's creativity. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Well, that's good defending. Well organised at the back. Brian Tristante. Well, as we glance at the table, it really is shaping up to be a captivating season. Highly competitive, especially at the summit. Well, what a great title race this looks like being. Yes, there's a long way to go, but it's difficult to split these teams oh, at the moment. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Retaining possession, proving difficult. And that is how to beat your opponent. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? They'll try to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Well, being pressed here. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. Oh, great defending. Able to skip past his man. Well, conceding the throw in. Good challenge. Carlson. Remo Freuler. Well, possession seeded. Brian Tristante. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. in the middle still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead and a throw in it's going to be Carlson well it should be a top notch match from Serie A the one we've got coming up on EA TV it's Bologna against Torino Oh, that's splendid play. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh, a brilliantly timed tackle when it really mattered. And into the last 30 minutes now. Good wait on that pass. Opportunity it is, and a goal to open the scoring, no wonder they're celebrating.
Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. has restarted 1-0 here now look at this they might be able to cash in here Remo Freuler He read it well defensively. Fifteen minutes left for play. Subimendi. Paredes. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Now in the dying embers of the game, it looks as though the visitors have done enough. Stuart, your assessment? Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been a really tight game, hasn't it? Chances at a premium, and you have to praise their defending in that regard. Just got to see out the final few minutes now. No silly mistakes at the back. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. And a substitution in the offing. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Really good build-up, but no end product. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today.